I'm Kira. I'm a bird keeper here at the Houston Zoo. Right now we're in the wetlands area with our two whooping cranes. So this is Hayden up front and the one in the back over there is Angel. Now just like us, birds have personalities. So Hayden's a little bit more social. He likes to put his nose into things. Uh, he likes to get really up close with the keepers. And Angel, she's a little more shy. She's a little more reserved. So she watches how Hayden's uh, walking towards us and keeping an eye, but she is trusting him. Right now you can see Angel is playing with some plant matter. It's actually, sometimes they'll eat some roots and plants. They also like to eat like blue crab, clams, minnows. They have a whole variety of different things they love to eat in small invertebrates, even frogs. So right now I'm gonna give them some treats, some of the things that we give them as keepers. So that's their alarm call, if you heard that. It's pretty cool, but right now we got some smelt, which is a different type of fish. They'd really love to eat that. We also have some crickets. And we got some peanuts. This is like their dessert. So they get really excited about these. Now, just like in the wild, they really like to forage for these things. So we toss like the fish in the water. And they're eating that right up. They're really excited about that. You can see how their beaks are working really well in that water. So they're not getting their feathers uh, wet or dirty or anything. Their beaks just go right in and right out. Now I'm just tossing some crickets. Now these two, they've been here for a little while, about 10 years or more. They are both paired up together, so they do mate for life. Unfortunately, these guys, they are endangered out in the wild. So there actually used to be 10,000 of these guys, 10,000 flying over our heads. But now they're uh, in the 1930s, there are only about 20 left. So from 10,000 to 20 left in the wild, that is crazy. So the other organizations have put together an area to keep them safe because they've been decreasing due to habitat loss, hunting and pollution in their water. So by having a refuge for them so that they can migrate over there, they can be safe and find the right foods that they typically would find out in the wild. Now thankfully hunting has gone down and, and with the refuge it's definitely helped quite a bit. Instead of 20 we now have about 800 cranes flying over our heads for the migration. And now where are they migrating you may ask? Is they're going to go from the coast of Texas all the way to Canada. That is quite a long flight. But they fly over there so that they can have chicks. They're going to raise their chicks in Canada. And then they're gonna fly back over to Texas once it gets to the winter time. I see Hayden's really excited about fish. Doesn't seem to be as excited about crickets right now. <laughs> Now these guys, uh, they really like to forage, so sometimes as keepers we'll put up a pile of leaves for them and they can forage in there. So we'll put some like crickets and mealworms. And we also have like, of course, their dessert, which are peanuts. So we have one question is how tall are they and what's their wingspan? So these guys are actually the tallest bird in North America. So they're about five feet and their wingspan is seven feet long. So when they're doing their courtship dances, they're gonna jump up in the air and their wings are gonna expand. You're gonna be able to see their, how long their wings are. They usually 
usually do this in the springtime, so this is actually around the perfect time. Not sure if they'll actually do it for us, but it's always really beautiful to see. Now, if you ever want to see whooping cranes, there is a refuge for them that you can actually go to, which is only about an hour and a half away from here. So that one's the Aransas, uh, Aransas National Wildlife Refuge. And that's the big area that they have for the migration population where they will go and they'll be there until uh, late April. So you have until late April or so until they're probably going to fly off back to Canada. So Priscilla's asking, what is their lifespan? That's a really good question. So for out in the wild, they're going to live up to their like mid 20s, around 25 or so. Uh, typically though, when they're in captive, uh, they're going to be up to 30 years or so. Now these guys, they're only about 16, 17. So Hayden right here, he is only 16 years old. And Angel is 17. Now, how can we help these guys? Because, you know, they are endangered and maybe you want to help out. Well, you know what? You can just come right to the Houston Zoo and that money you spend here is actually going to go into the conservation for these guys and for so many of our other animals here. Another way to help is by recycling. So the Houston Zoo here, we also recycle. Uh, we used to have cardboard, cardboard water bottles, but now we have aluminum. And we always have like reusable straws. So we, we want to have things that are reusable, reusable water bottles, and it just helps to keep that waste out of their water so they're not getting polluted. Because some of that trash, it does unfortunately end up in their water source. So the wetlands is super important to them in their environment. That's where they're going to be finding their food sources and what their food sources is eating is what they're going to be uh, consuming as well. So we don't want any trash out there. So do you ask, what are their personalities like? So these guys, as you can tell, Hayden's you know, really close to us. He's very social. He likes to get right in your face. Especially when we're cleaning in here, he's going to come up right up to us, hang out with us. And Angel, she's the one in the back. So just like us, she's, she's kind of, you know, she's got her own personality. She's kind of shy. She watches how Hayden takes things because she believes in him. She trusts him. She knows that he's not going to make any dumb decisions. Um, and she's going to follow him in his lead. So if he's excited about something, she gets excited about it. So just for anyone who's just tuning back in, uh, just to let you know, these, this is out of the wetlands in Houston Zoo. These are our whooping cranes, Hayden and Angel. Hayden's the one that's pecking at the water right now. Those are some peanuts I'm throwing at him. Now these guys, they love a whole variety of different foods. So they can have like blue crab, minnows, clams, frogs. We will actually find some frog bits left over when we're cleaning up. So they will eat some of the frogs out in their own pond. So one of the other questions is, what do I enjoy, enjoy most about working with the cranes? I love working with them because of how Hayden will get up close to you, their own personalities. Um, it's always fun to see how they interact with each other. Every once in a while you might see a courtship dance, which is always super exciting when they're jumping up the air. And Hayden will grab like a feather or a peanut and he'll throw it up in the air, jump around, just trying to really impress Angel and make her see how cool he is. Now these guys, they typically have about one to two kids during the summertime in Canada. 
and those kids are gonna stay with them until uh, past that uh, winter time. So after winter time, they're gonna fly off on their own and have their own little group. So Carol asks, are they in danger? So yes, these guys, they are in danger, unfortunately. There used to be only 20 left in the 1930s. 20 left, and there used to be 10,000. It's a huge, huge difference. So that was noted, and people noticed how there weren't as many flying over and migrating, uh, and people took action. So now we have a refuge area for them. The Aransas National Wildlife Park, uh, which is only about an hour and a half away. So if you ever want to go there and see some cranes, I would definitely recommend it. It's really cool. Yeah, these guys, they are endangered because of habitat loss and because of pollution in their waters and hunting. Now hunting has decreased uh, and with the refuge it's really helped to have a secure area for them. Brian asks, what is your favorite bird? So my favorite bird, that's a really hard question. I love all the birds here at the Houston Zoo. Um, I guess my favorite would be the Andean Cock of the Rock. So if you ever see those guys, they're in the Santa aviary, they're flying around. The male is bright orange with a fuzzy, with a fuzzy head, and the females are brown. They're very funny. They're gonna fly right past your ears when you go in there. They have no personal space. Kind of like Hayden here. <laughs> Now, how can we tell these guys apart? So, you know, it's so hard, they both look very similar. So males are actually a little bit taller than the female. And also, Angel has a band. So you, Angel has a band on her leg, Hayden doesn't, so that's always easier for us to be like, oh, okay, so this is Hayden, this is Angel, just in case we're not sure. Or you can always tell by their personalities, again, how Hayden is, Hayden is right up in front of us. Very curious, very inquisitive. Now these guys, they can be very, very loud, especially when they're doing their mating dance and when they're jumping up in the air, they're being calling out. They also do alarm calls too, when they get a little startled. So if you come to the zoo and they're doing an alarm call, you'll, you'll probably hear from across the zoo for sure. Now, for anyone who's tuning in again, just letting you know, this is the wetlands area. These are our whooping cranes at the Houston Zoo. This is hiding up front and angels in the back over there. Now these guys are endangered and you can always definitely help out by just going to the zoo itself because the money that you spend here you're going to actually be helping out these guys because that money goes into conservation practices for not just these guys but other animals as well. So one question was do they like being out in the rain? They, as far as I've seen they are totally fine with it, it doesn't really bother them much. So they do have an inside area. But when it rains, they're both out here just enjoying it. You know, in the rain, they can also bathe, um, get their feathers a little wet, clean themselves off, and prune each other. So that's all we have today. Thanks for tuning in. And June in on March 22nd for our next Facebook Live, guys. Thank you so much. I know Hayden and Angel are super excited for you guys to be here.